Welcome to my channel. I'm sorry it's late. It's been a crazy day and I didn't get to do a video until just now, but I wanted to tell you guys I was in Rhinebeck at the Sheep and Wool Festival last weekend with my daughter. She's a big knitter and we always pass a felting booth or whatever you want to call it, a vendor that's there and we always say, oh, we'd like to learn felting and we didn't know what it really entailed. My daughter bought a small kit and I couldn't believe how easy it was. And of course then once I found out, it was too late to go back to Rhinebeck. So I went on Amazon and I ordered a few things and I'm gonna try my hand at felting. I think I'll even do some live videos of it to show you, but I just wanted to show you what I picked up in case you wanna start felting and you're looking for a good kit. I have a couple of things to share with you. So the first thing I picked up is this dimensions kit and it's a cute little red fox. I didn't even know that this came with the felting pad, which is right here, this white dense foam, because that's what you need to use dense foam, but there's also like a brush that they sell. It almost looks like a brush with like a plastic backing on it. And you can use that or a dense foam. I got the dense foam and this kit contains 100% wool roving, a felting needle, a felting mat, cotton thread embroidery needle, and step-by-step -step instructions. So, very, very nice. There's a couple of things I ordered that didn't get here yet. You see they embroidered his eyes on. I also ordered little glass eyes, a whole set of them on Amazon for little critters. So this is under $10, and this is really great because we're gonna add it to our holiday gift guide because craft kits are always great gifts for kids, you know, and stuff, kids, adults, whoever. Um, they're quite different than, um, I remember my sister got something like so dangerous, it was like, do you remember we used to get like very dangerous things back in the day? Like my daughter, my daughter, my sister got a glass making set and you would take a wine bottle and you, they'd have this thing you put it in it, it scored a line and then you like gently broke it off and then you had to pass it through a candle. I mean. I don't know how, we must have been a much tougher breed. And then we had these snippy scissors, they were called snippy and they were electric scissors and they were no joke. And they made the worst sound that you have ever heard. <laughs> they were passed down from my older siblings who are some of them are many years older than me. And so they're probably like the most dangerous things ever invented. And <laughs> we all survived, but anyway, I'm going to put this on the holiday gift guide because I think it would be really cute for anybody that wants to start felting, whether they're an adult or, you know, you want somebody that's going to be able to handle a needle because it could get sharp and you could get your fingers caught. They do have um, thimbles that you can put on your fingers, or I was thinking you could even wear a Kevlar glove. I think Kevlar is the name of the glove so that doesn't like if you were chopping something or slicing something. Anyway. So this is a little fox. I'll put the link in the video description so you guys can see it. And let me know what you think. Then I picked up this tool. This was on sale. This was under $6. So I think it was about half price. Now this tool lets you felt with many needles all at once. So if you're doing an applique, and that's another thing you can do with felting. It's not just a project like this. You could take something, even like a cookie cutter in a star shape, or put it down on your pad, put your roving in the middle, and then go through and start stabbing. <laughs> That's exactly what you do, you stab it. Um, so you can get your ingressions out. And it makes, when you finish, it'll make like a felt star, like, like you see there. I don't know if you can see that. That's a flower. So to have a lot of needles doing it once, it really makes short work of it. Now this is the fine needle the fine needle one. They also have um, a heavy duty needle multi tool and you can refill these. So I think you can refill this with either the fine or the heavy duty needles. So this is a great tool. So I picked this up because I plan to do some other things. I like to have a stock supply. I'm gonna pick up all of this roll thing. You see this, how many? There are 60 colors in here, 60. And medium wool roving. And there's 60 colors in here. It's 100% wool. And there's three grams in each little package. Okay, and this is by Discovering 
DIY, but you can see just all the, all the colors here. And let me just show you, when you're doing, when you're starting out doing filter and you're doing application, you don't really need that much. Um, as you can see from the Fox, it really a little goes a long way. And see when you spread it out, it's a good bit of roving. So I've got 60 different colors in here. It's a lot to practice with. And it was under $17 for all of that roving. So that was really good. And like I said, I have little glass eyes that I ordered. I think there's a couple of other things. I'll put the link to this. It's kind of like what I did with the zippers. I wanted just to buy a whole bunch in bulk so I wasn't running out. And I wanted this in case I wanted to make something. I wanted to have a, already like a stockpile of colors on hand and then just add to that. And then I picked up this piece of dense foam felting mat. And this was under $6. So I will put links to all of this in the video description. Let me know if you've ever tried felting and what you think about it, what you've made. Like I said, my daughter started right away making these little robins and it was really, it seemed very straightforward, very easy. And I think it'll be really fun. So I'm thinking of also, you know, when I do this, maybe starting it right on camera with you guys so you guys can really see just how easy or hard it is, right? Okay. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Have a good one.